Hi, Ben here, amateur radio call sign Mike 7 Foxtrot Romeo Sierra. And in this video, I'm going to be looking at how to use the Spectrum sweep screen on the Exuma or similar firmware. So before we enter the Spectrum sweep screen or Spectrum analyzer, we need to decide which frequency we're going to centre it around. Um, you can use the top VFO or bottom VFO obviously, it'll centre on whichever frequency that's currently on um, between choices, or we could use uh, VFO mode. So if I press and hold the, the VFO key, and I've already entered uh, a frequency within the airband there of 122 decimal 000, so that's in the airband. And then we're going to access the spectrum sweep screen or spectrum analyzer by pressing the function key and number five and there we go it's entered into uh, spectrum analyzer mode so if we look at what the buttons do first of all button number one and button number seven on the left hand side of the uh, numeric keypad here will increase and decrease the frequency step between the consecutive bars so if I press the uh, the one button uh, you can see it's increasing the step, um, so they're getting closer together. If we press the 7, that will decrease it right down. There we go, so you can see the more I press it, the, the wider those um, bars become. So you can see it's on 12.5 uh, kilohertz at the moment. We can take it right down to I think one kilohertz maybe. That's five kilohertz, 2.5. Uh, obviously, there we go, and that's one kilohertz spacing. So you can see it doesn't show us much of the bandwidth there. Uh, obviously, if we increase that again, you can see that the frequency is getting further apart that the sweep is from. So at the moment, on two and a half K, we're sweeping from 120.4 through to 120.7 at the moment uh, and that's because the center frequency is moving all the while is why it's done that I think so there you go you can see I've taken it up to uh, 100 kilohertz um, the number four button will toggle the number of bars or channels in the graph so let's press the number four button so you can see that changes this here times 16 times 32 times 64 times 128. If we want to increase the squelch threshold, which is this uh, line here, we can use the scan and the function buttons to increase or decrease that. So if I want to turn the squelch up, you can see by pressing the scan button, moves that bar up. And once we pass that, uh, that blip there, There you go, the, uh, the squelch is closed. Let's bring that back down again. So pressing the function button uh, brings that line back down. You can see there at exactly 130 megahertz, uh, we've got a, an emission that we don't want to listen to. So what we can do is exclude that from the spectrum scan by pressing the top uh, side button, number one. So pressing the top side button one, uh, you'll see that'll uh, clear that bar. So it puts a a clear part in there. Uh, let's have a look. There you go. So you can see there's a little bit missing there now. So it's just ignoring that uh, particular frequency at the moment for us. If we want to change the modulation, we can press the zero button and that will scroll through upper sideband FM or AM. If you want to turn the backlight on and off, uh, side button number two does that. So you can toggle the, uh, the backlight on and off. What I've noticed is with the uh, spectrum analyzer it doesn't matter what you've set the backlight to in the menu it'll just stay on so even if you set up for five seconds it'll stay on all the while in this in this mode uh, you have to manually switch it on and off uh, using side button two there so like now if we found a uh, an active frequency so there's some air aircraft on 132 200 if i press the push to talk it's not actually going to transmit fortunately uh, it just puts us into the uh, detailed monitoring screen uh, and then we can uh, do a few things. That obviously is going to hold the frequency for us. If you want to jot that frequency down and save that as a uh, as a frequency, you can do that. 
Now, I believe some of the firmwares now there is a way of um, going straight into the uh, channel mode and, and saving that frequency but as, as far as I can see at the moment there's no way of doing it um, in Exuma. But what we have got on here is uh, we can use the memory button or the M button to scroll through um, some different uh, uh, parameters that can be adjusted so you've got your short low noise amplifier um, just here and we can go up and down with the um, side buttons maybe no it's up and down on the uh, up and down on here there we go yeah there you go so there's your your different values on your low, uh, short low noise amplifier obviously only goes up as far as three uh, you've got uh, another low noise amplifier in the middle there um, programmable, pro programmable gain amplifier um, which we can go down between 1 and or 0 and 7 uh, and then you've got your IF for your intermediate frequency uh, as, the, as, the, as the final one there and then if we press the exit uh, it clears that from there and then exit again will take us back to the uh, spectrum analyzer so anyway, in previous videos I've said I've not used the Spectrum Analyzer, but to be honest I've, I've used this a fair bit recently on the uh, airband, it's really good for, for monitoring airband. I say you can uh, cut out a few frequencies that are uh, uh, you don't want to listen to by pressing button 1, uh, and then it does a nice uh, nice sweep of the, uh, the airband. There you go, it's not great because it's indoors at the moment, but you can hear there is some activity coming through there. Uh, so anyway, I hope you found this uh, short video useful. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe, always interested to read your comments and then we'll see you on the next one, 7-3.